awful. Well, at least we're good. Hey guys, Happy New Year. I'm your host, Anika Chung. Welcome to my channel. You guys had a great holiday. I was recently on HBO Max and I wanted to watch some classic cartoons over the holidays. And I realized, where did all the classics go? Seriously, what's up, Doc? Well, HBO Max is a little less blue now since the merge between Warner Brothers and Discovery. A famous pirate once told me, Arr, the tides have changed indeed. HBO Max has officially removed 256 of the classic Looney Tune shorts from the streaming services, which were labeled as season 1631 of the original 511 available to watch. The Looney Tunes and the Mary Melody shorts were originally released theatrically from the 1930s and 1969 during the golden age of cartoon animation. Legendary voice actor, man with a thousand voices, Mel Blanc, voiced multiple characters, including the famous Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Tweety Bird. The shorts also feature June Foray as Granny and Arthur Q. Bryan as Elma Fudd. And not only the Looney Tunes projects were also scrapped from the streaming services, also in June of 2022, an animated musical film titled Bye Bye Bunny, a Looney Tunes musical announced for both HBO Max and the Cartoon Network. It was also reported that the film release on HBO Max was canceled, unfortunately. I want to see that. It was also reported that the film The Day of the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie would also not be released on HBO Max. Joining the other projects including Batman, Cape Crusader, and one of the most notable HBO Max cancellations was Scoob, Holiday Hunt. Who does not love Scooby-Doo? I love Scooby-Doo. And also, Infinity Train creator Owen Dennis wrote on his blog that the series removal from HBO Max was a direct order from Discovery, and it's about saving money somehow. That's what he wrote. My two cents about this, I find it to be ridiculous. I guess we should have believed when Don Chetty's villainous character said from the Space Jam Legacy that if the tunes lost, the tunes will be deleted, so. You just couldn't keep your big beat shut. Well, Thanos did just that. Oh, that's a wrong snap. That's the one. <laughs> the Looney Tunes deserve more respect. They entertained us when we were kids, as well made Warner Brothers very popular for decades. December was their 100th anniversary. Bugs is their official mascot. And respect the doc, seriously. I know the cartoons were altered because of the offensive content in the past. At least put the info before the episode starts, and they should also stay on HBO Max. I personally enjoy the classics, they should not go. Seriously, the Cartoon Reaper is snatching our favorite cartoons away, giving them the dip. Seriously, I do not know what is worse, the Cartoon Reaper who's stealing our lovable favorite episodes, or the judge from Roger Rabbit that gives the characters the dip. What's worse? They're both terrible, but the one has to be the baddest one. I think it's probably the Cartoon Reaper. This is my two cents. <laughs> Discovery removed Looney Tunes from their streaming services. Could there be a possibility that they might come back? I think it could be cutting costs, technical issues with the shorts, or making room for new content. My advice is to keep your classic Looney Tunes, DVD, VHSs. If you don't have any, at least you can enjoy watching the classics on YouTube. Like me. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next motion picture movie reviews. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other, right guys? I'll see you next time in the pictures. That's all, folks. And that is a wrap. That's all, folks. There, guys. Happy New Year.